tonight's top story. Six News reporter Mona Nyer is live in Cock County with details on what led to the indictments. Gene, it was nearly a year ago today. We were standing here outside the Cock County Courthouse to tell you how a man walking his dog in the woods had discovered the body of then missing teenager Megan Maxwell. And from the beginning, the main person of interest in this case was a man named Jeffrey Lee Stock. Stock is an acquaintance of Megan's father, and someone the family says that Megan didn't really like her dad hanging out with. And today, authorities announced that Jeffrey Lee Stock and Stock's father, a man named Terry Stock, are being charged in the crime. It feels like a mountain off my shoulders. You know, it's been a long time since I have been happy. It was the announcement Megan Maxwell's mother, Lisa, had patiently waited nearly an entire year for. Jeffrey Lee Stock, the main person of interest in Megan's murder, and Jeffrey's father, Terry Stock, are now being charged in the crime. We've interviewed several people, we gathered evidence. Terry Stock, who's believed to have been an accessory after the murder, was taken into custody in Indiana yesterday. Jeffrey Stock is already behind bars at a federal correctional facility in Tucson, Arizona. How much work have you had to put in in terms of going and talking to Jeffrey Stock, trying to get information out of him? Of course, I, I've been to, uh, personally been to Tucson Federal Penitentiary twice, and of course I dealt with Mr. Stock when he was still uh, housed in our facility and other facilities in the surrounding counties uh, on several occasions. Jeffrey Stock's criminal history includes abducting and sexually assaulting two teenage girls in Indiana. Charges being issued in the Maxwell case include rape, arson, theft, and murder. The charges sort of outline what may have happened. Yeah, it totally messed it up. It completely. In my mind, I had how I thought everything went. Well, when that came out, it just totally messed it all up. So, you know, now I don't know. What she does know is that this officially opens a new chapter, a chapter on getting justice for her daughter. She was such a good kid, you know, and the everybody in the community and her friends, she just, she liked everybody. And, you know, this is justice, not for me. This is justice for Megan. This is for her. Lisa says she'd like to see Jeffrey Stock spend the rest of her, his life in prison, and she says she'd rather not see him get, a, get the death penalty because that would be letting him off way too easy. Kristen and Jean, back to you. Hey, Mona, before you go, uh, Megan's mother was there saying that she looks at this as, as kind of a new chapter now in this case, but do we really know anything more about the events of that night? Did that come out in the press conference today? No, and I think in order to not affect the case in any way, they didn't really give out too many details about what they believe happened. But, you know, the charges tell you a lot because you've got rape, you've got arson, you've got theft, and you've got murder, and that kind of gives you a sense of what may have happened that day.